Hey, welcome back. Um, so tonight, uh, I want to get us into uh, longest, longest quest of the game, which is uh, the couple's mask. Um, nope. Nope. Oh wow! I'm gonna stop. Jesus. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Woo! Doing great. Doing great already. Uh, so, I want to say it was back at episode 14. Um, I had grabbed the cafe mask, which, um, what is her name? Madame Aroma? She had asked us to find her son who has gone missing. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll grab this now, be useful later down the road, and, uh, it's later down the road. Um, I think, uh, what I want to do is uh, I'll go do that conversation real quick, and the mayor's office isn't open till 10. Bullshit, okay. Um, basically, um, I also shouldn't slow time because this is all timed events. <laughs> uh, basically, if you go talk to Madame Aroma, she'll give you the mask to find your son, and she tells you, hey, my son is missing. Uh, you look like you're a private investigator. Can you look for him? And, you know, being, being the, the 13-year-old, that Link is, he does not refuse. So, that's fun. Uh, and if you also, you can read Cafe's diary in which he mentions just how excited he is, how excited he is about marrying Anju, and like, how he brags about her to his friends, like, you know, this is a wedding he was so excited for. And so that gets you thinking, this man didn't disappear because he didn't want to get married. This man disappeared against his will. From what, you know, what you can kind of gather. So, time to do some private inves investigating. Um, I think it needs to be ten years smaller than eight. Okay. There's a lot of like good optional events that we can we can witness. Uh, but I believe I want to talk to Anju with the mask on. Oh, that mask! You too. You're also looking for cafe. Cafe? I don't know how you would say it. Bah! Bother, bother! I'm busy. I guess. Um, let's see. Sorry, it's a lot of, like, it's a lot of waiting around. And they kind of fixed this in uh, the 3DS remake. Because the song of Double Time lets you, uh... They, they made some, uh, you know, life quality changes to this game in the 3DS remake, but also, uh, some... They also fucked up some things, like, uh, you know, the swimming that I've mentioned 
too many times. Uh, but there's also a lot of like um, quality of life improvements. <laughs> I'm the Gorman Troop. I have an appointment to meet with Madame with Madame today. Oh, really? Then that should be fine if you just go in. And again, this is just a refresher. I know I did this uh, a while ago. Well, the fins dab lately. That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, manager of the band, the Indiegogos. I'm out of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. The Indiegogos is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They've put out a lot of songs. One of their hits is The Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Oh, you don't? Ah. Even one that famous? Hmm. Be able to hear it if the show wasn't cancelled. It's such a shame. And this is Madame Aroma. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? This is my office. The mayor's office is next door. If you need to speak to me about the carnival, per carnival performances, make an appointment, please. And if this was the first time, she would ask if I was a private investigator and be like, Oh, you must be. Oh, can I not? Mm -hmm. Oh my, you! You're the one I asked to search for a cafe. So did you find anything? What? What's this? You've got nothing! Tis disco, please keep trying. Ah, oh, here's another optional event. That I don't think I've ever seen. Madame Aroma, I am Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at this year's carnival of time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning... The opening performance I've asked you to do. Ah, yes. They've cancelled just now. W what's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me, I am to work at this year's show. Or if that was the plan. I am Toto, manager of the Zora Band, the Indiegogos. You arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bay, and due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva in the Indiegogos, has lost her voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you at any rate. I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then this means the Gorman Troop's d d job is... <laughs> it's off. But that's... That's all, Gorman. There's always next year. I'm busy with other matters. That, that sucks. Sorry, Gorman. Can read this diary real quick? Coffee's diary. Wedding ceremony soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Andrew's made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and, tell and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. about to drop this plate. had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say that I already ate lunch, tortoise? Impossible, child. Then don't eat my food. I give up. Phew. Phew? Uh, whew, would you like me to read you a story? Yeah. 
I'll pass Granny, please. Granny's diary. It was my granddaughter who cooked again today, putting that to the lip shortens the life. I thought of a way to get by you without eating. I'll try it tomorrow, I just hope I'm not caught. Yeah, uh. Andrew's a terrible cook. I forgot, this is a lot of waiting around. There's a reason this, uh... This, uh, quest takes the longest. Hmm. Uh... There's also a reason that uh, I like to use a guide whenever I do this quest, because there's- if you miss one thing, you're kinda fucked. And there- there's a lot of, like, optional stuff, too, like, I'm- I'm trying to show, like, what I- you know, I'm trying to show everything, cause... why not? Hi, Mr. Postman! Huh! Ah, uh, uh, what is this? Yeah! I have delivered this to you! Oh, wait! This letter, where did you- Yeah! From the post box? That's not what I mean! From the post box where? Yeah! From the post box somewhere! Oh. That's not what I mean! <laughs> Welcome to the stop pod in. Um, did you have a reservation? I'm terribly sorry, there are no vacancies today. We've been booked solid with reservations. It's always this way before the carnival, I'm sorry. I recommend making a reservation the next time you should stay here. Please pay the stockpot in a visit in the future. Bye, Mr. Postman. Uh, well, I don't have a reservation. Not as... Uh, Kid Link? <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on. Don't talk to her. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. I kinda wanted this. Be back after these messages. Alright, and we're back. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Yes. You do have a reservation? That's good. Mr. Miles, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Miles, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here's your key. We got a room key. You're not sure why, but you barely had a reservation? This is fortunate. It's added to your notebook. Please relax. And, uh... Now we wait to see why... There's apparently a reservation under my name? Does it go wrong? She has the letter now. You're also looking for Cafe? I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight, at 11.30. Please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. You promised to meet her at night. Let's add it to your notebook. Okay. Mr. 
curious man. Sorry, there are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. Hmm. I made a reservation. The, the name is Miles Goro. <laughs> Mr. Miles Goro? I don't have a reservation under that name. There is one close to that, but... What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. <sighs> I'm terribly sorry. I stole this man's reservation. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> He's like an Animal Crossing character and his catchphrase is Goro. Poor guy though, I totally just stole his reservation. He also has, like, a Jojo cap. Like, I, I want to know if that was intentional or not. Huh. Can I talk to him? Oh. It's a hard world to live in, Goro. I'm sorry, man. I... Kind of shitty of me to take your reservation, but... Yeah. I, uh, I get to see a cutscene because of it, and, uh, that's the employees only, it's, uh, this room. I get to keep see a cutscene, and I get a rupee. What? Keep more money. Ah! <laughs> what a ramshackle in. Is this room first class? You can hear whoever's next door for crying out loud. Eh, whatever. We're staying for free, so we can't expect much. <laughs> Night of the first day. Sixty hours remain. And now... We wait. Can I just say... Horrifying. What the fuck? That's. Ooh. Can you imagine staying at a hotel and you like go downstairs to get a glass of water or something and that's staring at you in the middle of the night? Ooh. I uh. I would be terrified beyond belief. Uh, but yeah, for now we wait. I think, uh, I think it's really neat, and I know it's, like, uh, for budget reasons, that not everything is, uh, rendered as a polygon. Uh, some of it is just, like, a JPEG. Like, this onion. <laughs> that- that shit cracks me up. And I told I totally get why, like, you know, budget reasons, who cares about a- a, f a fucking onion? But, it's- it's funny. It cracks me up.
<laughs> oh, it's also that fun time of the year where right before the 4th of July, everybody is setting off fireworks. And we still have like two weeks. I'm sorry to trouble you late at night, it's about him. Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here's my letter. Please put it in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should go be you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Anju's waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him. Tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Absolutely. Thank you very much. You were given a letter to Cafe. Quick, deliver it to her. Deliver it for her. Take it to a mailbox. I made an important promise. Is that to my notebook? Please mail it immediately in the morning. I don't even have to wait till morning. I can go do it now. Just gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. 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 I'm sorry to take your your room, my friend. Your letter has been received. Kaching shall be delivered tomorrow. Kaching. You sent the letter. This is added to your notebook. Do you know what's funny? Um, since you know the letter is directly addressed to Cafe, and the mailman will deliver to Cafe. Then the mailman knows that Cafe is a child, and he knows where he is. Like, why doesn't the mailman say something about this to anybody? I cannot for the life of me remember. But I know for a fact it's a song, cause... run back into town. But because the mailman delivers letters around like two three. I, I thought that would protect 
protect me from fire. It's fine. Ah, it's gonna blow up. Give me that 50. Pretty fryer. Would be a heart piece, but I already got it. It's really nice being able to hold more than uh, 200 rupees, I will say. Ooh, what's the song now? Hi, Finn. Oh, come on, that was worth more than three rupees. Stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna go back into town, because it's getting close to that time. By the way, you, uh, you as the as uh, Link can't actually hit that bow yourself. And also, he left his door unlocked, so uh, that's on him. Woo! I'm gonna step all over his things. His things. Ooh, fucking around in some random kid's house. Woo! Back! Run! Green hat, green clothes. Hunter wrote about you in her letter. It seems you're looking for coffee. Can you keep a secret? Hunter trusted you, I, I shall also trust you. You! I am cafe. The cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I just see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the shrine near the north gate. But on the way, my precious mask, a wedding ceremony mask, was stolen from me by some prancing man with a grinning face! Well, you're just careless. You're like my partner. For my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was targeted because of what I had been turned into. Oh, I, I kind of pity you. I know Anju's worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. This pendant, give to Anju. Understand these grown-up matters. You should probably take the pendant to Anju, anyways. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. The mysterious used cafe was added to your notebook. You've been entrusted with a precious item. This was added to your notebook. And I don't know if I can get back in here. Oh, I can't get back in here. Things that get stolen in this town always make their way to the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for that to happen. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. Okay, from here, I'm gonna check on the curiosity shop's customers. 
This is very neat though. You can kind of look around. Oh look, a cow! Uh, by the way, those are actually like kind of important for a uh, different... Like... To get a heart piece. That guy will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. Cafe. Thank you very much. That face looks so happy. Sat it to your notebook. I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. See, everything here is falling apart. You can hear the voices next door. Okay, Anju, we're leaving in the evening for the ranch. Kremia will take us in. She's your best friend, right? I wonder if Kafe is really at Kremia's place. If Kafe is there, your mother will give him a smack. Besides, think about Kremia. She needs strength from a partner and business support from Madam Madame Aroma. If Kafe really has run off with Kremia, she'll get both. Please don't be sad. How happy could you possibly be? Marrying a man who runs off when he's about to be married. It would make your life unhappy. Just like your mother's. But in the letter, it said he definitely would come back. <laughs> come back to what? Won't this town be crushed beneath the moon the morning after tomorrow? Forget about that letter. For now, just try to survive. Everything else will follow. <sighs> yes, mother. Thank you. Don't be such a ruby pincher, you miser! Two hundred! Huh? Well, why don't I just offer you even less? And you know, this is the bomb shops! How about if I tell them all about you? Alright, fine, I'll take it, but you're guilty too! Huh? Don't be a fool! A seller of stolen goods is just a middleman who's trying to provide his customers with good product! Look, I know nothing. If it comes to me, I buy it. I'm a charitable organization that helps people in need. Understand, and the total is. It's 50 now. So there you go. What? You said 100. Huh? Oh, so you don't want me to take it off your hands. Oh, wait, it's a deal, it's a deal. Piece of shit. This curiosity, this curiosity sh shop guy's taking advantage of me. Just want my fair share. Yeah, a piece of shit. We just witnessed the guy who stole the um, wedding mask from Cafe. <laughs> now we're gonna go report to Cafe. But I can't do that till noon, so. Let's kill another six minutes. Okay, it's one, not noon. Oh, it's a curiosity chunk. Huh? You're the green hat kid. I got a message from Kafe. Now, Kafe, I've known him since he was real little. But when he showed up looking all young in that little brat body, I didn't know what I was seeing. All it took was one glance at that Kitan mask he was carrying for me to realize I was looking at my old friend. I gave him that mask a long time ago when he was just a little Kafe. Didn't know he kept it that well for so long. I'm not sure why, but I want to give this to you. Mask. Accepting this keepsake doesn't make much sense to you, but you should take it anyway. Now, Kafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. Express mail to Mama. 
It's priority mail, so hurry up and deliver it. A customer came into my shop last night. Now, coffee sees him, and coffee's color just changes as he goes running after this guy. The guy's a regular greedy thief named uh, Sakon. I think he's from my Kana village. He listened to his memories. This is added to your notebook. Asked to deliver priority mail. Added to my notebook. Okay. He's from my Kana village. We've seen him there before. In the valley, so. Okay. Uh, I can... So, there's, uh... With the priority mail, I can get one of two items, and, uh... I was worried... The one that I want to get... You'll see. I could I could get one of two items, and, uh, one of them I'm putting priority over the other because... I'm trying to get all the masks so that, uh, next episode... Uh, the, the next episode it should be it. Like, I'm, I don't know, I'm trying. I found him, Green Hat Boy. He's using this place as a safe house for keeping his stolen goods. Apparently his name is Seikon. came to the shop last night and I followed him. The storage for the things he's stolen is on the other side of this rock door. Only Seikon can open it. The only way in is to wait for Seikon to arrive. I'll wait. I've made a promise to Andrew. He will show up. Well, I played the... Hold on. Sorry, I should have done this while I was in clock down. I didn't think about it, so uh, we'll be right back. Uh, be right back, cafe. Promise. <laughs> It's a keyton. <laughs> Hello, child. If you're attempting to fool me, it's impossible. The ketons can recognize her own by the sheen of her tails. Uh, you're a good child. Let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. How many cows are there at Romani Ranch? don't see me looking this answer up. No, not at all. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say there's three. There are three, okay. Answer me this, pick one of the three choices. What weapon does Romani the girl at the ranch use in practice? Um... She, doesn't she use a bow that doesn't have, like, any arrows? Sorry, normally I would do this on my own. But I would like to do this... Right now. What is the name of the vintage milk sold at the milk bar? It's Chateau Romani. And that one I don't even have to look up. What is the name given to you by Romani, the girl at the ranch? Grasshopper. How many tiny- Fuck! <laughs> I don't know. This one, I never know. <laughs> That's what I meant when I was looking at the cow figurine in the curiosity shop. <laughs> good, very good. Take this prize. Another piece of heart. Let us meet again, child. <laughs> Alright, cool. I just I wanted to do that real quick. Yeah. Get as many heart hearts as I can before before the final boss. Got a canyon. End of the final day. Twelve hours remain. And now, uh, we wait. Hold on. I'll, uh, slow time back down before we go inside. I forgot it's quicker to... Yep. Back to normal. Because 
because uh, me and Cafe are waiting for Psychon to appear. And there he is. Right on cue. Cafe. Follow him in. I should have slowed time. It's fine. Let's see if I can slow time in here or else. I mean, it doesn't matter. I can probably do it. I can do it without. It'll be fine. Alright, Cafe, let's do this. Ah! Look, there's a mask there. Mask there. It's the sun mask. You dumb fuck. Now I've done it. Step on that switch. What, are you telling us what to do? It's some setup where the door stays open only when the switch is pressed. All right, go cafe. There should be some device in this room that also opens the, opens the door. Oh, the mask! Yep, I only have so long, so. He's trying to pull it out of our reach and make his escape. We've gotta hurry. There's no good, this isn't the switch. Go check that room, there should be some sort of mechanism. Please, there's no time! I don't like him, but is there a choice? Should we help him? Not moving ahead in the face of danger when you know it's for the better, it's just like tail. Oh. That's it, let's go! Alright, go cafe! Shit, 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 shit. So if you couldn't tell, the red switches speed it up. Cafe. This is added to your notebook. There's still time. I have to get back to town. Here he goes. I can go get one more mask and then and then I can finish out this quest. 
on the schedule. To me, the delivery schedule, it, it's the highest priority. Uh, this is a priority mail seal. This is the highest priority. I shall deliver it. <sighs> Come on, man. We gotta go. Fast. Mistress, oh my, can't be. You're still here. T t tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. B but oh my, well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think something good would come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. Understood. I'm not free, I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore, so here. I'll let you have it. Postman's hat! I can check the mail now. It might just suit me. I saved a public servant. It's been added to my notebook. And look! Another hat. And think. You're doing a great job. Ka ching! Some item no other than a uh, blah 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 blah. Some item other than a letter has been deposited. Ka ching Woo! Sixteen hearts. Nice work. Ka ching I thought of something I can show you really quickly that I talked about in the last episode. Uh, cause I have time. I can make time. I'll be back. I'll be back in time for the for the couple's mask. Uh, quest. I just- I need to see this. I need you to see this. It's so freaky. Okay. You kids are fucking loyal to this stupid Bomberman code. I know, secret society forever. I'll be through. I need to see this. I still have time.
Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Oh, that's so rad. You can see him do like the... Ah, at the moon, through the telescope. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, this game's attention to detail is so good. So, so good. Alright, I gotta run. It's even worse that it played a little bit of, like, the theme for this place. And then it's like, actually, no, you get the final day, final hours music. Alright, back to the couple's mask really quick. See, I told you I had time. to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. I am. Usually I just wait in that room with her for Cafe to show up. God, fuck. <clears throat> Here, it's quicker this way. Avoid that flower. Out of time. Oh. Is it gonna take the bunny hood off to not ruin the There you are. Go, 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 go. before. What a familiar scent. Long, long ago. Yes. We were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The masks of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. Anju, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. Lovers, but they look just like a mother and child. Let us exchange the promise masks. We've exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. 
You're our witness. Please accept this mask. You got the couple's mask. It's filled with their love. Please take refuge. We're fine here. We shall greet the morning together. Two gave you a happy mask. So was added to your notebook. I... This always gets me, because... Even in the face of certain doom, they they promise to wait it out together. They face certain death in each other's loving arms. And that always gets me, and fuck, that's close! I'm gonna reset time really quick. Um... I know this is gonna be a long one. This is literally the longest side quest of the game. But I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh... Next time we'll be taking on that final boss together. I hope you all have a great night, day, whatever. It doesn't matter. See you around. Bye!